Hello and welcome to another PS4 Bloodborne broadcast with yours truly, Maximilian Swag. I've already gone through this area a few times trying to record, but my internet dropped and so I have to go through again. I only tell you this so that you aren't surprised by the events I've triggered in this area already, like the wolf beast breaking through the window at the end of the upper hallway. Today we'll be taking a stroll through the Upper Cathedral Ward, home of the Quiet, the highest secret order of the Healing Church, whose mission it was to make contact with the cosmos and bring great ones to Earth. Also, secondary goals of theirs were to create uh, great ones out of humans and to commune with Ebritus, da daughter of the cosmos. Now, just around here on this corpse, when you go through the first time, you'll find the Great Lake Carol Rune, a rune that boosts your defense against all attacks, not all elements, though, by 4%. It's a great rune to have. Uh, oh, dear. Be careful around these celestial larvae. As you can see, they can inflict a shade of frenzy that will chunk you for most of your health. Oh, it didn't go all the way through that time. Well, normally it does, uh, so just try and take them out before they can get close enough to you to execute that attack. Being kin, they are weak to thrust attacks, which makes a Ludwig's Holy Blade invaluable when facing large numbers of them. Its strong thrust attack can easily deal with any number of them that it hits. Now here you can go around the side to find some crows guarding an item, but I've already done that, so I'm going to go up these stairs and confront the healing church doctor with a scythe. Now be careful when entering this room, as there is a brain sucker waiting right here. Uh, as a uh, beam kin, along with the celestial larva, Brain suckers are weak to thrust attacks and bolt attacks. So having a lightning infused Ludwig's Holy Blade will be a great boon when dealing with the brain suckers, and there are quite a few in this upper cathedral ward. Now, going down this hallway, as you can see, I've already triggered the wolf beast breaking through the window. Normally it will uh, break through when you're on your way back from the end of this hallway. That's on your first run through. Uh, the blue eyes of these wolf beasts in Upper Cathedral Ward indicate that they are the strongest of their kind, stronger even than the red-eyed variants that you occasionally see, such as in uh, Old Yarnum. Now, at this door, if you have a Ludwig's Holy Blade, you can actually use its charge strong attack to thrust through it and sometimes kill the brain sucker if it hasn't moved. That's on the other side of the store. That will reward you with the orphanage key. Now, just going back along this hallway and out through this door. When you go downstairs, there will be some wolves, when you're on your first run, that is, uh, hanging from a chandelier. Now, a good way to deal with them is to lure them back to this doorway. And if you have a Ludwig's Holy Blade, you can just easily thrust through and do lots of damage. I don't, so I'm going to have to rely on the uncharged, strong attack of my Hunter's Axe. Because you, if you use the charged one, it'll usually catch on the door frame, and it won't actually hit the wolf. And if you do it like I'm doing, you can deal with them one at a time. If you go too far uh, close to them, you may have to deal with all three, but luring them back to this door makes that a trivial matter. Okay, now for the third one. Just bring them up here. I like the Hunter's Axe uh, for a initial weapon, an initial weapon, 
because it has high rally potential. Meaning that, of course, when you attack an enemy after being damaged, you can recover quite a bit of that lost health. Now, over here, on the left area, when coming down the stairs, there's another wolf he's patrolling. He'll go up and down this uh, side of the room. Now, just make your way over here and to this hallway. Now, be aware that the scurrying beast at the end of this hallway is actually just a lure for you to try and get you to rush into the room at the end of the hallway, where there lies a brain sucker just beyond the doorway. Now, a good way of dealing with this brain sucker is to use this ladder as environmental protection uh, as you can see, he can't cast his spell and get me. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is when he is directly on the other side of the ladder, he can use the close-range version of the spell, and that will usually catch you. Oh, like that. Except less pathetic. Now this attack will drain both insight and health, and it'll drain a pretty good portion of that. So... Be sure to heal before taking them. with. We can go up this ladder. Now out through this doorway there are two more brain suckers and that's just about the end of this level. Uh, however, there is another way to shorten your path over here. I've already opened it, but there's a doorway that leads back to where you lured the wolves. And of course, I have to be caught by the brain sucker. Just wouldn't feel right otherwise. Oh. Long race, good thing I have. Unlock that shortcut, now I can just skip through most of the level. It is easier to take care of that brain sucker when you can actually get behind him. It allows you to uh, surprise him with a sneak attack. And I shouldn't die this time because of that. Hello, embryotic great ones. Just. Don't mind me coming through, just passing through. Hello, Church Doctor Point. Me ask no one to attack you. Beasts that will want to come charging after me. And it's payback time. Unless, of course, you kill me again. That would be absolutely terrible. Okay, much better. Now, in this hallway on your first run through, you'll find several items. 
one of which is the blindfold cap, I believe, on this corpse. Uh, ignore them when you're running to kill that brain sucker, because they'll just slow you down and allow it to cast its spell and get ya. Now up here there are two brain suckers, one over near that door, one out here on the balcony. I find it easiest to try and lure that one away from its brethren. Oh. Well, anyways, normally it works. Without having it happen. Try and lure it back into this room. Then you can go and deal with one that has the orphanage key. Of course, don't forget to go out here and find the make contact fester. having absolutely no luck at all. Every brain sucker I've encountered has managed to pull this off on me. There we are, the orphanage key. Now you can go back around down here to open the shortcut door, the shortest cut door. Now I didn't deal with the wolf on my way through here the first time, so I'm going to have to do that now. Shouldn't take too long. There we are. And now, go back around through this door. Oh yes, and of course now there will be more wolf beasts to kill. Jiffy. Strong attack. Charge. There we are now. Two the end of this room, there's a door that can be opened by the orphanage key. Now, I believe this building itself is the orphanage. I'm not 100% on that, but pretty sure. And then you can open up this way. Now, up there, across that bridge in the Lunenflower Gardens, is the next boss 
the celestial emissary, and beyond that is Bryth as daughter of the cosmos. I won't put those in this video, and in fact, I may not do a video on those at all, but that's Upper Cathedral Ward. Uh, like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and generally have a good one. Bye.